Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Part 11. And today we're tackling Parrot Shoot Panic. And uh, the biggest animal friend that stars in this is Quox, the parrot, who cannot spit out eggs and can only go down, uh, cannot fly up, as you see. He can kind of idle in position, but other than that, that's it. Also, there's a secret passageway right here, which gives you a bunch of bananas and skips a little bit of the beginning. And it's, you know, it's not too big of a leap, but I think it's nice, so I use it. <laughs> I don't know about all the silly things you guys used to do when you were kids, but when I was a kid, me and my cousin, who was one of the coolest people in the world, and my sister, used to get together and do this thing called crazy dancing. That's when you put on your favorite songs, which a lot of times when your kids are uh, interesting. <laughs> And you just go crazy. Whoever dances the craziest wins. So it's it's really fun and it just like allows you to be free and have fun and no one judges the way you dance and it's really nice. So it's just like you go all out and you're crazy dancing yourself. And I love doing it because like it just it felt so good to do it with my friends. My friends. My friends who were my sister and my cousin. <laughs> and it felt so much fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad and very appreciative that I, at least I was rich with a lot of cousins when I was a kid. And my sister. Even though she was a bit of a bully when I was really young, you know, sibling, well, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sibling rivalry, I still appreciate her. Yeah, this level is a little bit tricky because, like I said, you can't go up, you can only go down, and there's a bunch of spider obstacles. Also, Parachute Panic, I don't know who writes these levels' names, but I gotta thank them. I love, love, love the way that they write these names. I think that it's really creative. Parachute. <laughs> like a parachute. Of course, you guys knew that. Ha <laughs> ha. Lately, I've been watching Gotham with my sister, and uh, we watch it in the living room, which is a shared space. And it's really nice to watch in the living room because there's a lot of light and there's a big TV. The only not nice thing is that my dad can sometimes come in and make a comment. I don't mind him watching with us, mind you. I think that it's a lot of fun when I watch with my dad. The only bothersome thing is that sometimes he would come in and he doesn't really like fantasy or... Sorry, did he? <laughs> he doesn't really like fantasy or anything of that sort. Oh gosh. Those two are the bane of my existence. I usually die there. <laughs> So sometimes when he sees something too fantastical, which just requires the imagination to stretch, he would say things like, this is a child story. Even though, obviously, um, I wouldn't recommend watching Gotham, like kids watching Gotham. And it's kind of hurtful that he says stuff like that because I let him watch whatever he wants to watch and I don't judge him for it. So I really enjoy watching it with my dad. Um, because I just enjoy him watching movies with us. But, yeah, I, I wish that the comments, the negative comments, weren't, uh, into play. But other than that, that's good. Lately, I've been having trouble sleeping, because I've also been, I just finished, ah! Dixie! It's always here, it's always here that I lose somebody. Um, because of the twisty twists of this level, it's very interesting. Oh gosh! <laughs> More of the TNT barrels. <laughs> My signature jumps. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Stranger Things lately, and spoiler alert, there's a monster involved. So what do I do when there's a monster involved? I don't sleep. <laughs> and that's what I've been dealing with lately. Especially since the monster comes out of the wall. That's really scary. That is so scary for me, that the monster comes out of the wall and then the lights blink. So I've just been doing some silly coping mechanisms like trying to apply logic, which doesn't always work because the fear is the illogical one. And I'm like, there's no monster. The lights would blink if the monster were to come. You know, if, there, if a monster exists, then my favorite superheroes exist and my favorite everything exists. I see you. Yeah, you're gonna boomerang me. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite superheroes exist, and they will protect me, so my favorite steampunk robots will be- my favorite steampunk band of robots will be there at the foot of my bed, imaginarily protecting me against the imaginary monster. So, you can't do anything, haha. <laughs> also, those things waiting to kill you, yeah, 
I know there are tricks. I know they're there. They're a little hard for me to dodge sometimes, so I'm very happy I got them. <laughs> yeah, silly tricks like that. It also reminded me about how important it is to be mindful during the day because not only have I been afraid of monsters that don't exist, <laughs> but I've also been um, not knowingly a little stressed out and I haven't really been listening to my thoughts during the day. And what happens when I don't listen to my da 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 <laughs> What happens when I don't listen to my thoughts during the day is that they come all at once at night. You know those racing thoughts that you get at night? It's just like, you cannot stop thinking. Okay, that's not the right way to go. <laughs> you can't stop thinking. And that's, that's what I've been um, dealing with. So just, you know, simple reminder for me and anyone else who does this, like, it's good to be distracted if that's a coping mechanism for you to not think about the stressors of the day, but if you're distracted for too long and you don't let your thoughts process themselves, not only will you not find a solution to your problems, but they will come and get you in the middle of the night, and that just doesn't really help your stress because not getting enough sleep makes you, you know, messes up with your cortisone worse, that I can't grammar, <laughs> and makes you more stressed. So that's that's not the thing that's not the outcome that we want. So take care of you. Listen to your thoughts. You are so important and your thoughts are important because they're you and you're the only you there is. So if you're not going to listen to you who is? Listen to thyself. Unlock the secrets of the inner potential of the mind. <laughs> no, I'm not some kind of quack. <laughs> Although I do quack. <laughs> in my in my in my real life, my little uh, blah blah. See, that's why in the, in real life, my sister and my friends have nicknamed me Ducky, and I think I just I don't think I can jump without losing somebody. <laughs> and my nickname's Ducky in real life because I make weird noises. Those noises that you heard in the first few Let's Plays of me freaking out, that that's what I do in real life, too. I make weird noises. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just don't want to lose my last life. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're alive. I make weird noises, and I'm super clumsy. And so my family calls me Ducky. And uh, I think that it's quite fitting. And I much prefer it to Hen. My sister used to call me Hen. I don't know why I don't see the resemblance to me being like a hen. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I much prefer Ducky, I think it's perfect. Also, look at the like, jazz hands, like the way that they're like <laughs> with their hands all out perched. I love that. When I was a kid, like all those little details in this game just would crack me up. Ha! Huh, you cannot hit me! You will never hit me! I am invincible. Not really. But <laughs> I am short. In real life too. So you can't hurt me. <laughs> and let's wrap this up with getting one banana. A single banana for you. Eat your potassium. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's Let's Play. Thank you so much for coming and watching, and I hope to see you next time when we tackle the boss. Have a great day. Bye-bye.